Hi, my name is Jenny McClay, and I'm here today to share a few E flat clarinet tips with you. The first tip that I have is that if you're new to the E flat clarinet, I would start out by playing very slow scales and long tones. That way your fingers have a chance to get used to the much smaller keyboard. This is especially true if you're coming from the B flat or A clarinet or especially the bass clarinet. So doing long tones will also help give you a chance to look and work with a tuner so you get used to the tuning tendencies of the E flat clarinet. The next tip I have is particularly for high notes, which are quite common for the E-flat clarinet and a lot of people struggle with. And the best advice I have is to get creative with the fingerings that you're using. A lot of times the altissimo notes and the fingerings on E-flat clarinet, the traditional fingerings, don't have the same tuning capabilities that they do in the B-flat or A clarinet. So I would encourage you to create your own fingerings, consult fingering charts, and create other ones that help you control the tuning and the response of these. Something I like to do if I have a fingering that works very well, but it's just a little bit flat, I add the sliver key of the right hand and that helps to raise the pitch just a little. Something else that helps for E flat clarinet playing is to make sure that you have a really good mouthpiece ligature and reed combination. So I would try a few different combinations to find the one that has the best response and ease of playing for you. And finally, the most important tip for E flat clarinet is to make sure that you're using enough air. I know that it's high, I know that it's loud, that's the nature of this instrument. So you don't want to shy away from using enough air or being afraid to squeak. So play loud and play proud and have fun.